Okay, here's the question on the slant asymptote that you asked about. If you have questions about the rest of the rational function, definitely let me know and I can elaborate on the other parts as well. For the slant asymptote, because the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator, uh, we can find it by doing long division. So I've got 6x minus 1 is going to go into x squared plus 3x plus 0. Now, as you pointed out, this is a little bit trickier because we have the 6 in front and just a 1 here. So it's not really the same as what we had done before um, because we're going to be dealing with fractions. The question we're going to ask ourselves is what times 6x gives us x squared? To find that what, we can divide both sides by 6x, which will give us x over 6 or 1 6 x. So I will put a 1 6 x on top and then multiply that by every term of the divisor and write it underneath the dividend. 1 6 x times 6 x gives me x squared. 1 6 x minus 1 gives me negative 1 6 x. Now we're going to subtract that, which of course we can turn into adding the opposite. When I add this together, I get 3x plus 1 6 x. Uh, so that's 3 and 1 6, which is the same as 19 6. I think that's a little bit easier to write when we're doing long division. So this is 19 over 6 x plus 0. And then we want to start over. Again, we're going to ask, what times 6x gives us 19 6x? So in this case, it's question mark times 6x equals 19 over 6x. We can again divide by 6, whoops, not x, just 6. Nope, we're definitely going to divide by x. Divide by 6x, sorry. The x's cancel, and we end up with a 19 over 36. So what goes here is 19 over 36. Then we multiply that, 19 over 36 times 6x will give us 19 over 6x minus 19 over 36. When I subtract that, I get a positive 19 over 36. This is our remainder. For the slant asymptote, we don't really care about the remainder itself. This function will be our slant asymptote. Okay. This will be kind of tricky to draw. This thing is just barely above 1 half. So you could start at you know, just about 1 half and then go up 1 over 6, up 1 over 6. So you'll get a, a line kind of like that. All right, I hope that helps for this one.